Now before we start installing our new stair parts, the first thing I want to do is patch the old holes for the old balusters. Our new balusters are going to be positioned differently. Yeah. To do that, I bought these oak plugs right here. They're round, one inch in diameter, about three sixteenths of an inch thick, and they'll go right over the hole like that. Now if I take my bit and I try to drill on top of that hole, the drill bit would wander. To stop it from wandering, I put a hole in a block, the right size, I'll center it over that hole, and now I will drive or guide the bit into that hole like that. That's very clever. Next thing I want to do is I don't want the drill bit to go too deep, so I made this gauge block right here. I'll put the drill bit through the gauge block, put the drill bit on the drill, tighten it down, and now when I drill through the gauge block, my drill bit will stick out at the right depth. And line the grain up and tap it in. All right, we're ready to install your new handrail. Great. Now I'm gonna reuse the turnout. Okay. But the first thing I have to do is recut this angle. All right. All right. Now, what I've done is I've taken a couple of scrap pieces of wood and I screwed them together. Now that will hold our turnout at the right angle in both directions. I don't want it to be tilted this way and I don't want it to be tilted that way. Another great idea. Okay, so now that's held right on there like that. I can't use the old handrail, so we have to use a new handrail. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to lay it right on the nosing of the stairs, just like that. Okay? Now, with my turnout on top of my block, I hold it down tight and I simply slide it in until the top of the handrail matches the top of the turnout. When they're even, I can now transfer this angle to my turnout and I'll cut it on my saw. Now we're ready to attach the turnout to the handrail. They're going to go together just like that. To attach them one to the other, we're going to use this bolt right here. It's a railing bolt. On one end is a wood thread. On the other end is a machine thread so I can turn this nut right here to tighten the two pieces together. Now the first thing I need to do is I need to drill a, a hole in the end of the turnout and the end of the railing and they have to be positioned exactly right. Okay, now that's tight. Now I have to drill two more holes, one more in the end of the railing, a little bigger than this hole, and another hole on the bottom of the railing so I can access this nut to tighten it. All right, now let me show you how these two pieces are going to go together. I'm going to slide the machine thread right into the hole, just like that. Now it makes sense to me. Okay, now I have to put the nut and the washer on and tighten it up. Okay, now before I tighten it up, I'm going to run some glue on that joint and put the two pieces together. Okay, we're almost ready to install our railing, but before we do, I want to drill holes on the underside of the railing to accept our balusters. Now what I did first is I located our balusters on our stair tread, each one of them using this blue tape, so I marked it and I centered it on the wall. I divided each baluster up equally over the run and I made sure that the space between the balusters didn't exceed four inches. Now, I have to transfer all of these marks to the handrail. And to do that, I'm going to hold the handrail on top of the stair nosing, put my spacer block in here, and hold the railing tight against the spacer block. Now, if you can hold down on that railing so it doesn't slide, sure. I'll transfer the marks up using my square. And I'm going to put it on this mark right here. And I'm going to transfer that mark right to the side of the railing. Okay, now we've located the holes for the stairs and for the underside of the railing, and now we can drill them. Now I'm ready to drill the holes on the underside of the railing, and those holes have to be on an angle, so the balusters will be plumb. This cut right here is plumb. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the piece of the railing that I cut off as a guide for my drill bit. I'm hold it like that. 
I get my hole started. Once I get started, I bring the drill bit down, holding it until it's parallel with the block. Okay, Shelly, you wanna hand me that handrail there? You got it. Okay. Now we have the tricky part. We can lay this on here. Work our way up. All right, Shelly, we're all screwed off the top. Why don't you give that a try? Okay. This is rock solid. Mm -hmm. 